What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Yule Rabbit here on Forza Horizon 4, staring on the beach at that new Gymkhana 10 Fiesta ST that you can get in the summer uh, Forza Thon shop. I believe it costs 200 Forza Thon credits to get it, so it's very inexpensive. Definitely looks sick, and uh, I can't wait to see it actually rip in the actual Gymkhana 10. But, um, so. We're going to be taking this car out for today, have a little fun with it, and uh, do one of the longest rally races in the game, I believe, unless it's a custom game, you know, this is probably the longest set one. So we're going to get to that today and uh, have a little fun in this uh, Gymkhana 10 ST. So we're going to get the wheel cam turned on. We are rocking our Logitech D920 with full 350mm uh, energy innovations wheel, hydraulic camera brake, sequential shifter, and uh, we are rocking our little uh, snap-on suede racing gloves, I guess you could say. So we are going to be uh, just having a little fun with this car We're right now just on the beach, just, uh, well, discovering some roads, having a little uh, slidey fun. This car does sound sick, and uh, it definitely... Uh, Looks awesome and drives pretty well. Not so much in the sand, I'm guessing, but uh. Oh. Man. It's a bit of a big jump. And now we just smacked into the guy. So now we are gonna go to what has to be one of the biggest rally stages events in the game preset. Just smashes through people's beach party. The gauntlet. Now, the reason I've already completed this, but I wanted to do it here today in the uh, new Fiesta ST. So, we're going to go race the gauntlet in this Fiesta ST and, uh, well, destination. hope for the best, I guess you could say. Rally Monsters, and we will be rocking the Fiesta ST Gymkhana 10. And, uh, well, we'll see how this works. We do have another Fiesta RS, but that's not the uh, Fiesta ST Gym kind of 10. So this is a completely different car. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, this is a completely different car than the other ones. So we're going to be rocking this today, and uh, we're going to see how we can do in this event, rocking this uh, really high-end rally car. i got to check my phone message real quick while we're waiting to get on grid. Alright, so we are on grid in the new Hoonigan ST. We're gonna have a sip of our coffee in our uh, first order uh, coffee cup here. And then we're gonna, well, get into this very long race. Full 900 degrees of rotation. Rally Monster class. And, uh, well, let's just see how this car goes. Like I said, I've already completed this before, but. I believe I did it in a uh, very low-powered car to keep the uh, challengers at a lower car class. So this is definitely going to be more of a uh, challenge being in full Rally Masters class. But this car does handle pretty well on the wheel, so we are going to have a bit of an advantage, I feel. But this is... Like I said, one of the longest rally stages that is a not a custom built race stage that I've found so far. If there's a little longer one, let me know down in the comment section down below, but I feel the draw. The gauntlet is the longest one for uh, basically story modes, you know, unlocking it when you reach a certain level in the dirt series. And this car's actually handling so well on the dirt. I'm actually super surprised with how well this is handling. Go a little bit of a tail slide on the pavement. Now I do notice that this car has a bit of a longer gear ratio than uh, some of the other rally cars in the game, such as like 
the other Focus is Team Fiesta is Tees. But uh, we're still topping it out. But luckily, there's not many long straights in this track. Ow. Apparently, I need to go faster for that, man. We got Drifting Boss up there. And Aaron, 1992's Drivatar up there as well. We just got to try and stay smooth. Try not overdrive the car and lose too much grip. Water splash to clean off the car. Whoa. Almost lost it there. Forgot about these jumps. Oh man. Water splashes on a wheel are definitely a uh, very unsettling thing in this game on a wheel, as well as huge jumps unsettle the wheels. They get very light when you're in the air, and if you aren't anticipating it, uh, well, the wheel can come back and bite you for sure. And we are just on a tear right now with these guys. This is a very close race, and we're only 24% into this race right now. This is a very long endurance drive, especially on a wheel. If you guys are wheel users and you've done this specific race, did you get off the wheel and use a controller? Because I know a lot of people are still struggling with the handling characteristics of uh, the wheel in this game, especially when it comes to dirt. But uh, I found I've just become used to it. Probably didn't need to brake as much there on the slip slide. Make sure I caught that wheel so I didn't put, lose the car. Whoa. I do like the sound of this car. I wish it uh, cracked when you shifted like the other uh, Fiesta ST, but the handling characteristics of this car I feel are a lot better than the other one. We are just tailing this guy. We're just tailing Drifting Boss right now. Trying to just stay smooth on the wheel as much as we can. And I'm sure we'll find our position to get a clean pass. He's rocking that Rally uh, Subaru, it looks like. So, dirt racing on a wheel. Definitely not an easy uh, feat here in Horizon 4. Especially water splashes or mud. At least there's no snow or ice. At least we waited until the summer season to do this. Because uh, this would be probably very intense in the snow. I went to go grab my handbrake, but uh, didn't need it. Oh, that was greasy. Sorry. Oh, my bad. That was uh, very, uh, very greasy. It gets really tight there. I forgot about that section. And I lost my spoiler, so we're losing downforce. Weight reduction, though. Maybe that little bit of a weight reduction will be what we need to uh, catch this first place. First place, man. Maybe not, but we are still not even 50% done. And we are five minutes into this race. So like I said, this is probably the longest race I've ever had in an off-road in a Forza. Especially here in Horizon 4. Correct me if I'm wrong. Unless I'm not talking about uh, custom built stages. I'm talking about like actual game built stages. Because I know you can make some very intensely long ones in a custom build. Which I want to actually probably do some very long custom build rally stages. Here in the near future. Ooh. Doing a little uh, left foot brake. Uh, gas changing around here today. Doing a little rally style driving. Some quick uh, left foot brake taps just so I can get right back on gas. But then uh, switching to my other foot, switching to my right foot uh, when I gotta use the clutch to shift. Because I am still using, just because I have the sequential mod, I'm still using a shifter because you can't do sequential in the game and still have a clutch so I still need my clutch for drifting so I still got to use my clutch 
I just uh, don't have to find the gear. It's just up or down, so. Which is a quick reference for me. I've been using the, the custom built sequential for a while, and I definitely do love it. Hard break there. Or pavement section right now. A little backfire from that ST exhaust. Apparently the lack there of a rear wing not affecting us too much. We aren't on simulation, otherwise it probably would definitely affect us a lot. So, like I said, having a lot of fun in this Gymkhana 10 ST. If you haven't picked yours up, I do recommend picking it up. I believe it's only $200 in the forces on, or 200 forces on points in the forces on shop, which is uh, not that hard to acquire. So, make sure you guys pick it up. It's definitely a fun car to have, especially with Zoom Gun 10 and everything coming out soon. And, uh, well, having all the Hoon Corns and the Hoon Truck, what better to add to your Hoonigan collection than uh, Jim Conn 10 ST? I know that they'll probably be available in the, the auction soon, as soon as the summer season's over, and you cannot get this car anymore for the people that missed it. These guys are just right on my tail still. I'm trying to uh, stay smooth and consistent through these sections and not uh, overdrive the car. Or my wheel setup. Ooh. There we go. Definitely been getting more comfortable in the off-road racing series here on Forza Horizon 4. Dirt and uh, snow and stuff like that have uh, not affected me as much as it used to when I first started playing, especially on the wheel, because a lot of people the wheel gets a lot very light when you're uh, on dirt that was almost a very bad section yeah that was almost very bad but we did uh, manage to uh, keep our composure somewhat there we go Trying to find the fastest section through these lines. The fastest line through these sections, actually. I probably should have stayed in fourth, but I'm just getting pushed around by lightning. With only 10% to go, I would very much be upset if we lost this race now. Getting into the... Uh, very twisty sections of the track where I think I will shine a little bit. Oh boy. As I say that, we get past. Oh, he is, oh man, okay. He kind of lost a little bit and came back on track into me. I can see the finish line over there. That part reminisces me very much of Forza Horizon 3. Oh boy. Just gotta stay in first and hope we can get this done. It'd be very disappointing if we lost it right now. But we're not going to. We're gonna be able to take this in the new Gymkhana 10 ST. It's a lot of driving. It's a lot of intense driving and intense turns. If you guys haven't done that, make sure you guys try it and uh, let me know what. Uh, car you guys use a lot of EV hashtag EVL team up on there we got lightning f45 T who ate my hamster of course drifting boss um, uh, majesting can't really say that too well I'm not sure I know who ate my both should be on our team but he's not uh, as well as Ryle B a lot of team EVL shout out to all the new team EVL members Gonna take that win, keep calm, and clutch kick. Whew. Need a need a quick sip of this. Sixty-four thousand dollars on that. That's not a that's not a bad uh, amount of coin. Fifteen thousand influence. Dirt racing round eight. I feel like I could have gotten that gauntlet shirt. I should have had that gauntlet shirt for completing the gauntlet. So definitely had a lot of fun in this ST and uh, 
Can't wait to uh, rip it some more. Let's see, what do we got going on here more in the map? Nothing really. So I think that's probably going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Horizon 4. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and uh, enjoy the new Fiesta ST. I know I do enjoy this car a lot. Do I not own this house? I don't own this house. How many, uh, I mean, I have a lot of money. I should probably buy the house. What do you guys think? Should I buy this house? 1.5 million. Five super wheel spins? Huh. Yes, please. I'll take it. I'll You're do those five super wheel spins to end this view. episode off. I'll sort the paperwork for you. Why don't you have a look around? I got plenty of money here. So we're going to hit those five super wheel spins to end this episode off. Uh, no, I'm not going to set this my house. We're going to back it up. And then we're going to take our five super wheel spins to end this episode off. So make sure you guys follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. Uh, we have uh, six super wheel spins now. So if you guys watched this wheel spin episode, I've been very sad with the wheel spins. So now we have six super wheel spins. Maybe we'll get something good out of the super wheel spins. We did get a Z4, and I know there was somebody asking me to do a drift build on a Z4. So uh, we're probably going to be doing a drift build on that car. So that's kind of a good pull. See what else can we get? Uh, some pants, five grand, and a Lambo LM002, which I don't think I'll ever use, but maybe I will. If you guys have been failing on super wheel spins, also let me know down in the comment section down below because I feel like all I get is uh, some low cash and emotes and clothing and stuff. So, as always, like thank you guys for coming by and watching. 250 grand. That will definitely uh, bump our money back up. I was hoping to make up for the cost of the house, but, uh, you know, I don't think that's going to happen. I wanted that alpha. Oh, yeah, chain mail skirt. I should rock that. So, I like to thank you guys for coming back, watching this episode. I like to thank you coming back all the time. If you're not a subscriber, ooh, 911 GTRS 12, 2012, we're going to rock that car. So make sure you guys tap that like button, subscribe. I do appreciate the support, bell notifications. If you want the uploads first and all the posts that I post up on YouTube, make sure you follow me on Instagram, which is found in the description box below. And until next time, guys, like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out. Oh, I want some